It's been years in the making, and now Vanderhoof's Nechaco White Sturgeon Conservation Center is a reality. Biologists say in the early 20th century, there were upwards of 6,000 sturgeon in the Nechaco River. By 1999, that number had plummeted to just 500. A pilot program was started to hatch the fish in captivity and eventually repopulate the river. Hundreds turned out to the grand opening of the new facility, and plenty of volunteers are pitching in to help out. The temperature doesn't bother these volunteers. It's what's in the tank. They feel slimy. And like they also tickles. flip their tails a lot, so it they're like tickles. Yeah. And they look for food on the surface of the wall. This is a big day at the Nechaco White Sturgeon Conservation Center. These newly hatched fish are getting ready for their first meal. The community is just uh, beside itself. They were. You know, folks just love to see this. Uh, they've been helping us out. Um, we had 70 volunteers a few weeks ago help us with this morning, and uh, it continues today. The community, volunteers, and staff are working together to try and save these prehistoric creatures. The Chaco White Sturgeon have been a key part of the First Nations culture and history of the area. Before the conservation program started in 2006, this species was at the brink of extinction. We think that their spawning habitat's been impacted by by changes in the flows of the river and we're working towards understanding that so we can re recreate that habitat for them. This centre serves as a hatchery. It raises the sturgeon from eggs to mature adults, which will eventually be released into the river. These fish are about three weeks old, but one day they could grow to be three metres or ten feet long. Sturgeon can live over a hundred years. This facility will be in operation long after I'm retired and we want the next generation to be able to carry the torch, so to speak, and. Um, so a significant part of it is, is the stewardship and, and getting folks interested in the conservation of sturgeon. I just started volunteering because it was too much fun. These volunteers are helping with the feeding. We've been doing it for quite a while and it's been fun but tiring. Biologist Corey Williamson has been with the conservation program since it started. It's an amazing experience. This is. Um, uh, the start for the, I guess, the new generation in the Chaco Sturgeon, and they're well on their way. On their way to becoming giants of the river, here for thousands of years. And with this program, thousands more. Camille McDonald, CKPG News.